Hello and welcome to this date in history, also known as TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred to date in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things that we personally find intriguing enough for us to bring to you. The sources of this information come from a smart device application, Today in History, What Happened Today in History, Historical Calendar, and the website on this day.com. For links to those sources, the music, and anything else we gather throughout the show, check the description. Anyway, I am AO Xander. And is Muffin gonna unmute him? Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm Kayo Boboshi. Yep. And, um, uh, Mr. Lunk is currently MIA. Uh, he should show up at some point, hopefully. But anyway, today is Moon's Day, also known as Monday, March 21st, 2022. Um, are you in the middle of something, uh, Keo, or, uh... Uh, literally logged off, so... Okay. Uh, do you want to start us off? Uh, sure. Uh, let me pop it up. Sorry, I just literally just... <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, there we go. Um... Yeah. 537, we got Sage of the Rome, King Vertiges, attempts to assault the northern and eastern city of Walls, but it repulsed at the uh, per Persentine Gate, known as the, the Frick Vervum Vivarium. <laughs> Vivarium? Sounds like a metal. Anyways, um, by the defenders under the Byzantine generals, Basasas and Pernus. I can't freaking pronounce it. I, I don't want to be rude, but I think we gotta have you go through grammar school again. Oh, bro. That will not help. <laughs> Showing up to 6.30, Emperor Heraclius returned the True Cross, one of the holiest Christian relics, to Jerusalem. And I believe the True Cross is the cross that Jesus died on, you know? It makes sense. Probably. Yeah. Then you got 717, the Battle of the... Uh, Dude, I can't even freaking read today. Uh, Vinci between Charles Martel and Regan... Fred? Uh, I guess there's just a battle. Interesting. Moving on up into mm -hmm. 1152, uh, the annulment of the marriage of King Louis the Seventh of France and Queen Eleanor of Aquitaine occurred. Mm -hmm. I think this was the guy who, uh, like, started. Um, who started the Church of England? Who started the Church of England? Was it Henry the Seventh? No, it was Henry VIII. So, okay. Well, I guess he, like, it's not a divorce, it's just an annulment. So, anyway. Anyways, we're at 1188, 1188. We got Emperor Antiku, uh, Octaku, ascends uh, to the throne of Japan. Nice. Japanese emperors. Jumping up to 1556, on the day of his execution in Oxford, former Archbishop of Canterbury Thomas Cranmer uh, deviated from the scripted sermon by renouncing the recantations of his ma maid and added, quote, And as for the Pope, I refuse him as Christ's enemy and Antichrist with all of his false doctrine, end quote. Oh, looks like uh, people have not been liking the Pope for quite some time. So. Well... Oh. Anyway, here's her, uh, a big jump here in 1788. A fire in New Orleans leaves most of the town in ruins. Well, that's interesting. Normally they suffer from floods, but everybody well, needs to switch a roo every now and then. Yeah. Twelve years later, right around number 1800, with the Church of Leadership driven out of Rome during an armed conflict, uh, Pius VII was crowned Pope in Venice with a temporary papal tiara made of paper mache. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the Pope was wearing a paper mache hat. Wow, okay. Pinata time. Grab your sticks, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Bunk. Bunk. Anyways, a year later, uh, in 1801, we got the Battle of Alexandria is fought 
between British and French forces near the uh, the ruins of Nicopolis near Exal Ag uh, Ag Alexandria in Egypt. I don't know why. I can't. <laughs> you got that Jeez. muffin mouth, man. I just need to put my tongue out, clean it, yeah, buff it, then put it back in. Uh, that sounds very cartoony. <laughs> Three years later, in 1804, Code Napoleon was adopted as French civil law. And what was Code Napoleon? Let me look that up real quick. Uh, the Napoleonic Code, officially the civil code of the French, is the French civil code established under blah, blah, blah. It is, it is still in force, uh, although frequently amended. It was drafted by a commission of four eminent jurists and entered into force on March 21st, 1804. But it is still in force. That is interesting. Over 200 years. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, in 1814, we got the Napoleonic Wars. Yep. Austrian forces repel French troops in the Battle of Arches. Sir Abu uh, Ayub. That's a weird name. Ayub. Ayub. Here in water. There he is. There is Mr. Lunk. Welcome to the show, good sir. Sorry I started yeah. without you, but uh, as you once said, no, the no. show must go the on. The show goes on. Yeah. The show goes on. Yep. The must go on. Mm -hmm. We are right now in 1844, if you would like to pick it up. Oh, nice. And I'll get to the script first. Uh, oh, the Baha'i. I know about the Baha'i. My... my uh, my mom and grandma and great grandma were Baha'i. My sister was a Baha'i as well. So. Oh, oh, for real? Oh. Yeah, yeah, for real. Oh, in 1944, the Baha'i calendar begins. This is the first day of the first year of the Baha'i calendar. It is annual celebrated by members of the Baha'i faith as the Baha'i New Year or New Rules. Uh, happy New Year, Baha'ians, or whatever it is that you call yourselves. Yep. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yep. Yeah. Moving on up to 1861, Alexander Stevens gave the Cornerstone speech. What was the Cornerstone speech? Uh, where's my thing? There it is. Cornerstone speech. Uh, also known as the Cornerstone Address, was an oration given by Alexander H. Stevens, Vice President of the Confederate States of America, at the... Uh, Athenaeum in Savannah, Georgia on this date in 1861. All right. Um, in particular, he stated that, quote, our new government's foundations are laid, its cornerstone rests upon the great truth that the N-word is not equal to the... I'm not, I'm not reading any more of this, but if you want... Uh, uh, if you want, you can check this out in my underbar for this completely evil, hate-filled... Uh, statement so I kind of regret even looking that up personally uh what happened okay 1871 Otto von Bismarck is appointed as the first chancellor of the German Empire ooh Otto von Bismarck the man whose namesake uh, was used for the famous ship during World War II that got sunk yep What else happened in 1871, Mr. Muffin? Uh, just another muffin got eaten. Uh. Um, anyways, uh, in 1871, journalist Henry Morton Stanley begins his trek to find the missionary and explorer David Livingstone. Uh, we were talking about this guy, I think. Uh, Dr. Livingstone, I yeah. presume. Yeah, like he was, yeah. he was born or died day or so ago, I remember. Moving on up to 1918, that's a bit of a jump there. During the First World War, the first phase of the German Spring Offensive, uh, offensive Operation Michael began. Interesting. Yes. Also, in 1919, the Hungarian Soviet Republic is established, becoming the first communist government to be formed in Europe after the October Revolution in Russia. I'm, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, playing, I'm thinking something with Lenin. Uh, yeah, uh, Vladimir Lenin. 
Good old Vladdy Batty. More cross capitalism. <laughs> but I got that from Captain. When he got up when he got up on his last coffin. Yeah. That's <laughs> when uh, the Soviet Union was not actually disbanded. That's what just they wanted us to think. Mr. Keo, uh, weird face guy, do you want to 1921? Sure. The new economic policy in 1921 is implemented by the Bolshevik Party in response to the economic failure as a result of. Nineteen twenty five, Sing Nian Ri was removed from office after being impeached as the president of the provisional government of the Republic of Korea. That's a mouthful. Oh. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, so that I'm guessing after that Kim Jong il father probably took over then. Uh no, uh I think that's South Korea because North Korea's only be ru been run by three people. Uh, oh, okay. Kim Il Sung, Kim Jong Il, and now Kim Jong Un. That's, uh, mm. Let me look uh, this up yeah. real quick. Provisional government of the Republic of Korea. Uh, formerly, the provisional government of the Republic of the Korea was a party recognized Korean government in exile based in Shanghai, China, and later in Shanghuang during the period of Japanese colonial rule in Korea. Okay, so it ended in 1918. Huh. Oh, well, yeah, well... Oh. This is confusing. Shit. So it's a government... So, but it, so it's part of China, North Korea, and South Korea, somehow. So I, I, I don't think it's a... It's a country without a land, it seems to be. So that's interesting. Damn. I didn't know that could be an existence thing, but okay. I know. That's new. That's new to me. I also... Also, 1925, the Butler Act prohibits the teaching of human evolution in Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Tennessee. Wow. Tennessee. Come on, man. Like, I, I, I'm from Tennessee, and I am a prime example of human evolution. So. Uh, you start the evolution wrong. Uh, I'm fucking with you. You know, you know I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> you saw me look. I'm like, wait, is it misspelled? <laughs> <laughs> in 1928, Charles Lindbergh, the uh, American hero and also Nazi sympathizer, uh, was presented with the Medal of Honor for the first solo transatlantic flight. And, yeah, look, look up Charles Lindbergh. He uh, he sided with uh, the German Socialist Party back in like you know the late 30s, and actually agreed with a lot of their policies, specifically towards a certain uh, a certain people. You know. So, so, yeah. Well, uh, Mr. Muffin, what happened in 1935? Oh, shit. Uh, 1935, we got the Shah of Iraq, Riza Shah Bahawaji. No. Um, Baha. Pahlavi, formerly asked international community to call Persia by his native name, I bet. Interesting. Uh, Native name? No, it is Persia. Well, it could have been Iran beforehand. I don't fully know that. That's that's interesting. Either or, it's still a shit. Uh, also, in 1935, Shah of Iran. Oh no, 1937, Ponce massacre. 19 people in Ponce, Puerto Rico, are gunned down by police acting on orders. Of the U.S. appointed governor, Blayton C. Winship. Dang. Oh, God. Horrible. That's awful. We went on up to 1943. Wehrmacht officer Rudolf von Gersdorf plotted to assassinate Adolf Hitler by using a suicide bomb, but the plan fell through uh, when von Gersdorf was able to defuse the bomb in time to avoid suspicion. Um, okay. Coward. So. Could have changed the world right there, man. Two years later, 1945, during World War II, British troops liberate Mandalay in Burma. Cool. Uh, what else happened in 1945, somebody? 
guess I'll take this one as well. Also, during World War II, Bulgaria and the Soviet Union successfully completed their defense of the North Bank uh, of the River Delta as the Battle of Transdynaban Hills concluded. Who's blowing into their mic? Yeah. Also, in 1945, World War II Operation Carthage, Royal Air Force planes bomb the Stoppel headquarters in Copenhagen, Denmark. They also accidentally hit a school, killing 125 civilians. That is horrible, but those that's what happens in war, unfortunately, war casualties. War is hell, you know, that saying isn't there just for no reason. It's, yeah. You know? I know. It's tragic. It, 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 it's there for a reason. Yeah. This is why war is always the last resort, you know? Uh, a lot of people in today's world, you know, don't remember the lessons of the past, and we're going towards another needless conflict. Well, it's already happening, but anyway. Jumping on up to 1946, the Los Angeles Rams signed Kenny, signed Kenny Washington, uh, making him the first black U.S. citizen player in professional American football since 1933. All right, cool. Cool. Also, 1952, Alan Freed presents the Moon Dog Coronation, the Coronation Ball, the first rock and roll concert in Cleveland, Ohio. Cool. It's really yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, speaking of something that's not cool, 1960, Apartheid, Sharpsville Massacre, South Africa, police opened fire on a group of black South African demonstrators, killing 69 and wounding 180. Oh, my God. That's horrible. Also, 1963, the famous Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary in California closes. Yep. yep. And I know you've probably been there. I have not actually. I've seen it a couple of times. Oh, for real? Yeah. No, I've been in. Um, I've been in San Fran a couple of times. I've seen it from the shore, but we've never. I mean, you got to book tours like six months in advance for that thing. You know. I've been. Yeah. In it. Oh, it's lucky. Yeah, she was creepy inside, bro. Yeah, they had a makeshift, uh, makeshift human doll, whatever one the cells. Oh, like a mannequin. Yeah, and yeah. I thought it was had, a real person had, for a second. Oh God. God. No, they had crap on me. No, Muffin, you had this because someone actually used that to escape. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought it was a real person that scared the living crap out of me. <laughs> I was like, dude, there's someone in there. I looked. I was like. Oh no, that's fake. <laughs> I was like, it's probably still you know, the dummy that they used. He probably kept it there, you know, at the. Yeah. Well, probably not. Like, it probably wasn't built with things that can last too long. I mean, like, uh, from what I can remember, like, they, 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 the head was made of soap or something or plaster, plaster. Yeah. Like. Yeah, plaster. Yeah, and they use real human hair. Like, they use their hair cuttings. You know, uh, mm -hmm. that probably biodegrades eventually. You know, plaster breaks down. I think hair and nail stink. Maybe. Uh, they do still grow after you die. Yeah. Anyway, jumping up into 1965, Martin Luther King Jr. led 3,200 people on the start of the third and finally successful civil rights march from Selma to Montgomery in Alabama. Now that's how you do a protest. Yes. Yeah, peacefully. Yes. You don't need to burn down half the neighborhood to get your point across. You don't need to kill people who are a different color than you, you know? Like. Also, in 1968, Battle of Karame in Jordan between the Israel Defense Force and the Combined Forces of the Jordan Armed Forces in PLO. What yeah. is the PLO? What is the PLO? Let me look that up here. PLO, Palestine Liberation Organization. Okay, so it sounds like uh, the defense forces are going on the offense yet again. You know, isn't it weird how like you know, all, all the evil people always name their things the exact opposite of what they are. You know, so that's a little interesting. But anyway, we missed one here in 1965 during the Ranger program. NASA launched Ranger Nine, the last in a series of unmanned lunar space probes. Yeah. Uh, Keo, if you're here, do you want to take 1970? You're a, you're you're a comic book nut. Call. 
Oh, okay. Well, then I'll take it. 1970, San Diego's Comic-Con, the largest pop culture and pop and culture festival in the world, hosts its inaugural event. So, happy birthday, that Comic-Con. That is awesome. Yeah, happy birthday, Comic-Con, as well as uh, uh, the Baha'i Faith. Yeah. Or New Year to the Baha'i Faith, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, 1980... No, 1970. 1970, the first Earth Day proclamation is issued by Joseph Altio, mayor of San Francisco. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of firsts today. That's pretty cool. Now someone else other than Charlie Brown can celebrate it. Yeah. One decade later, which is 10 years for those who do not know, uh, in 1980, U.S. President Jimmy Carter announced a United States boycott of the 1980 Summer Olympics in Moscow to, pro to protest the Soviet-Afghan War. That sounds extremely yep. familiar. Oh my God, that's so familiar. You know? Also, 1983, the first case of the 1983 West Bank Spain epidemic begins. Israel and Palestinians accuse each other of poison gas, but the cause is later determined to be psychosomatic. Ah, uh, so it sounds like Israel is the source of it. As we never blame Israel. Oh, you know. It sounds like that sounds psycho. So yeah, I believe it. Three years later, in 1986, Debbie Thomas became the first black U.S. citizen to win the World Figure Skating Championships. Cool. It's awesome. 1989. 1989, Trans Brazil flight 801 crashed into the slum near Slum at the favela. São Paulo and Guara host International Airport killing. 25 people. Oh, yeah, 25 people. Yikes. Yikes. One year later, in 1990, uh, Nambia, Namibia became independent after 75 years of South African rule. Interesting. Well, also in 1990, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change enters into force. Gotta be fucking Al Gore with that shit. Yep. Al Gore. Mad Bear Pig on Super Ethereal. Also in 1994, uh, well, that's a repeat there, so let me get rid of that. Moving on up to 1999, uh, Bertrand Picard and Brian Jones became the first to circumnavigate the Earth in a hot air balloon. Wow. Damn. You know, wow. You know, like, once again, like, you know, these weird, re you know, records being set even, you know, in today's world. Like, I was around then. I was... 12 years old, 13, mm -hmm. somewhere in there. Also, one year later, year 2000, the new millennium, Pope John Paul II makes his first ever pontifical visit, pontifical visit to Israel. Hmm. Mr. Keo, I see that you are back. Would you like to take 2006? Yeah, uh... uh, all right. One second. Yeah, well, I will take it. The 2006, the social media site Twitter was founded. Oh, boo, boo, boo. Yeah. Thanks to, actually, thanks to Twitter, I was able to keep on updates about the wrestler Scott Hall. Unfortunately, right. he passed. Oh, you're right already. Damn it. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, there's the last one here. It's all yours. Okay. Uh, the In 2018, the... Uh, same, uh, same she chemical plant explodes, occurs, killing at least 40 some people and injuring 640 others. I think that's the one that you showed me a video about the other day, actually, right? Oh, it was a propane explosion. Yeah, like, let me, let me look that, that up. Because, like, I remember, like, that happened in 2019. You know, as you said, that was a couple years ago. Uh, that was like six years ago. Oh, uh, well, let me, let me look this one up here. Uh, the Xing Zhang Zi chemical explosion. Yeah. Well, maybe this isn't the one that you showed me, but regardless. Uh, so any articles uh, interest you guys today? Yes, a lot of them. Comic-Con, for one. 
the starters, uh, Alcatraz. Uh, I trying to find it again, uh, oh yeah, it's 1986. Uh, Debbie Thomas. Even though I don't like, uh, figure skate, I don't like figure skating mm. as much. Uh, Mr. Keo, uh, any articles interest you? Uh, not really, hmm. actually. Well, I'm gonna have to agree with uh, Sohan here with a Comic Con. Uh, uh, the Alcatraz thing is pretty interesting. Martin Luther King Jr. his march, which you know, you know, third time's a charm. You know, um, then uh, what was that uh, that one that I'm forgetting? Uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll put it in the title, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, moving on to Burst and Deaths here, uh, starting us off in, uh, 927, we have Emperor Taizu of Song. Oh, shit. Don't mind me. 19, uh, 1685, Johann Sebastian Bach, German broke composer and musician. That's the famous Bach, right? Yes, it is. Your heart's a bad thing, Bach, you know. Bray. Yeah. Oh, oh, the joy. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I think that I guess that is Beethoven. Ah. Then in 1878, Morris H. Whitehouse, an American architect. I wonder if he designed the White House. Uh, no, because it's 1878. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Also, 1896 is Friedrich Wasmann, Austrian mathematician, physicist, and philosopher from the Vienna Circle. The Vienna Circle sounds Ooh. like some Assassin's Creed something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I want this too. Okay. 19, 1897, Salvador Lodorov, Mexican wrestler promoter who founded. Consigo Mundial de Lucha Libre. Nice. 1904. Lucha we doors have... are so awesome to see. Yeah, yeah, Lucha doors. Mm -hmm. I've never seen Nacho Libre though, but you know, it's, it's a, it looks like a real dippy movie. It, it is. Yeah. It. Yeah, now I sound like my dad. Ah, oh, that looks like a dippy uh... movie. Man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I can take the 1906 here. 1904? Oh, 19, oh, I thought we were on 1906 first. Well, oh! Will be. No, 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 uh, I'll do this. Uh, I'll do this. You can get 1906. I'll give you 1906. Uh, 1904, Morris Moore Sr., U.S. candy maker who created the Morris Corporation, probably made Morris Corporation, you know, in uh, Eminem and the Morris Bar. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Mars Bars. Yeah, okay. Because I pretty much had a uh, Milky Way. I think that's part of the Mars uh, company. <laughs> it's funny. They have the Milky Way. They have Mars. If you put a glass of water on a Mars bar, there's water on Mars. And then if you're behind a yep. Milky Way, you can see it from the Milky Way. You know? Stupid jokes. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, in 1906, we got the good old, lovely Rockefeller, John D. Rockefeller III. Good old Globius Elitist. Yep. Four years later, 1910, Julio Gallo was born, a U.S. businessman who co-founded E&J Gallo Winery. Oh, shit, wait. E and... Oh, never mind. I thought it was E&J. Yeah, That's no. the brandy. Oh, uh, no. Well, they might make brandy. Also, yeah. Are you okay there? Yeah. 1920? Yeah. 1921. Okay, in 1920, we have Eric Rommer, a French director, film critic, journalist, novelist, and screenwriter. Also, in 1921, Anthony Hopkins, English pianist, composer, and conductor. I think it's him. Yeah, is this Sir Anthony Hopkins? Yes. Let me, let me look this guy up here. Anthony Hopkins, 1921. Okay, I'm just getting a whole bunch of video. Well, that's why I'm in the video section. So, uh, Anthony Hopkins. 
Sir Philip Anthony Hopkins, CBE, is a Welsh actor, uh, born in December 31st, 1937. This is not Sir Anthony Hopkins. This is Damn. A, yeah, and, and Anthony Hopkins was an actor. This guy was a pianist, composer, and conductor. So, I, I was thinking the same thing, honestly. But, I don't know, his, his name is Sir Philip Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. Anyway, in 1923, Nirmala Srivastava, an Indian religious leader who founded Saja, yeah, Saja Yoga. Oh, this next name oh. is kind of funny. Uh, I can take this. <laughs> <laughs> we got, uh, 1956, we got Richard Birdsley, U.S. Richard, uh, runner. I don't think his first <laughs> name was Richard. Uh, Richard Dick, whatever, it doesn't matter, Dick, Dick Birdsley. Dick Richard. <laughs> also in 1956, we have Richard H. Kirk, another dick, uh, English guitarist, <laughs> keyboard player, composer, and producer. <laughs> You're like, he's a dick. <laughs> 1956, <laughs> the year of the dicks. <laughs> the year of the dicks. I should measure and put that thing as the title as the thumbnail. Oh it's like the year of the dicks. God, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, 1958, Gary Oldman, English actor, filmmaker, musician, Ooh. and author. Why is that name familiar? He played a lot of, he, he played uh, in, he was Jerry's Black, he was uh, Commissioner Gordon. Oh, okay. Oh, he was, he was also, Zorg, uh... He was Zorg in uh, The Fifth Element, my favorite. Yeah, he was also that weird vampire. With a... Yeah, he was Dracula. Okay. All right. Yeah, he was Dracula, too. I'm, I'm ashamed you didn't get that reference with the, my favorite. That's from the fifth element. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was, uh... You know that one guy with the fucking weird hairdo? Yeah, okay, he was the bad guy, right? Yes, he was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, 1962, we have Rosie O'Donnell, a U.S. actress, producer, and talk show uh, producer, la, 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 producer, and talk show host, Muffin Mouth, and, and whale, and what, and, and whale? <laughs> yeah, first whale U.S. actress. Goddamn, <laughs> she's gonna sue Whoa. us for slander so bad. Fuck her. <laughs> okay. She a whale. I wouldn't, but you know, whatever floats your boat, dude. Like, uh, who wants 1966 here? 1996, Benito Arce... Arce... Oh, fuck. Benito Arce, yeah. Mexican footballer, referee, lawyer, and economist. Yeah. Damn. So, okay. Yeah, that's a that's a weird career change, right? <laughs> no, he was a footballer, then he became a referee, probably because of an injury. Yeah, and then he became a lawyer and then an economist. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, he stayed in one pocket, then he went somewhere else entirely. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Keo, 67? Oh, good old 67. That thick step, and we got Carwin Jones, a uh, Welsh lawyer and politician who was the first minister of Wales. And last but not least, in 1981, Germano Borovix Cardoso Schweger was born on this date, and he is a Brazilian footballer. Oh. Moving on into deaths, uh, who wants to start us off here? Oh, uh, well. To it, we don't know the exact thing, so between 543 or 547... Benedict of Nursia, Italian saint. Yeah, that's weird. We know the dates, but not the actual year. So it's we pinned it to yeah, one so or two. Yeah, so in between that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's crazy. Yeah, also, 1617, Pocahontas. Al Alquinian and Jean Indigenous people. I mean, Indigenous princess was born in 1595. Yeah, so oh, that uh, means yeah. that... Well, what's 17 plus 5? 22? Yeah. She was 22 when she died. Oh, fortunate. Yep. I remember, like, you know, when, when you know, John Smith and everything, like, you know, you, you, you see, you know, the, the, 
Disney's Pocahontas. Remember, John Smith is 35 and Pocahontas is like 14. So try shipping that next time, Disney. Seventeen twenty nine. John Law, Scottish French economist and politician who was a controller general of finances. I, I don't know why uh, his name became synonymous with uh, Johnny Law. You know, oh here comes Johnny Law. You know, well there he is. Oh there he was. He's dead. In this day. Oh. Uh, 1823, we have Guadalupe Victoria, a Mexican general and politician who is the first president of Mexico. Uh, I can take this one awesome. in 1980. Go ahead. <laughs> we got Peter Stoner. <laughs> Peter Stoner, he is a mathematician. Hey, man, that's <laughs> That's a very unfitting name. But also, to add to this comedy, right after you said his name, the background music had a sick uh, guitar riff. You're like, Peter Stoner. Wee -wee 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 <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Eleven years later, in 1991, we have Leo Fender, a U.S. businessman who founded Fender Musical Instruments Corporation. Uh. Nice. Also, 1997, Wilbur <laughs> Wilbert Audrey, English cleric and author who created the railway series, which was the basis for Thomas the Tank Engine. Or the wow. Dink. Yep. The that Dink. Is crazy. Mm -hmm. The Thomas the Dink Engine. Oh, no. Moving on up into the next millennium. <laughs> 2001, we have Chung Ju Young, a South Korean businessman who founded Hyundai. Oh. Wow, the, the freaking car coming is not that old, huh? No, well, no, I uh, mean, like, they're. Like, that's when he died, so. Well, actually. Oh, I'm retarded. Uh, when was Hyundai. Was Hyundai. I thought it was the freaking car company. Hyundai was founded on December 29th in 1967 in Seoul, South Korea. Oh. Uh, why don't you take this next uh, death here, 2003? Oh, you son of a. <laughs> uh, you know what? I gotta have a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say his first name because there's no way that. No, come on, it. you gotta try it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm sorry, I can't. I mean, uh, it was uh, Umar, uh, whatever his second name is, because there's no way that I can pronounce it. Um, Indonesian Why are general. These well, there's no way that I can't. Pr Jesus. Anyways, Umar, whatever his second name is, I'm sorry, uh, Indonesian general and politician who was the fourth vice president of Indonesia. Umar Wirahadi Kusuma. That's such a long ass name. Yeah. Holy well, so was yeah. so this one. Also in 2008, Imero Julian de la Fuente, Chilean architect and academic. Nice. Sounds a lot better than than the second last name of the Umar guy. Oh, Wira Hadi Kushuma. Yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch. Anyway, that concludes the show. Once again, you can check the owner bar for any links that you may be interested in, which also include. So in TV on Twitch. And everything Omni Coalition. For your dose of past events daily, we stream every day at three o'clock Pacific, or at the very least, try to. Uh, we made good time today for the first time in a while. Uh, for all of you and all of us, I am A.O. Xander. I am Luck. And Mr. Kyle. Yep. And you are you. Until you see us tomorrow, don't forget to look right and left at every intersection, rate five thumbs, and subscribe. Toodles! Toodles to the widows, and let's go break.